Hi, I'm the Malt Activist and welcome to another Whiskey Review. And this time we're sampling something all the way from Westeros. That's right, if you're a fan of the show Game of Thrones, you know what I'm talking about. And actually, if you're a fan of whiskey in general, you also know what I'm talking about. Because I have here with me the Lagavulin 9. This was released as part of a limited edition series to commemorate the Game of Thrones TV show. And uh, so there was uh, many different whiskeys, all from the Diageo portfolio. Some of them were not so bad. Some of them were extremely atrocious. This is one of the good ones. So let me tell you what they did. So each house had its own, own whiskey. So for example, House Targaryen had Cardu, House Stark had Dalwini, House Lannister had Lagavulin, which is this one. House Tully had the Singleton, House Tyrell had Kleinleash, House Baratheon had Roy Lochnagar, House Greyjoy had Talisker, also a good one, and the Night's Watch had Oban. Oban had a really good packaging. It was all black, very cool. So yeah, nine years old. Served at 46%. I don't know a lot about the recipe of this particular whiskey, but I'm going to guess that, you know, it's seen a bunch of sherry casks on the way, uh, mixed with some first fill bourbon. That's my guess. If you know more than me, which I'm sure you do, please put it down in the comments below so that I can be educated as well as anyone else reading that. I had this whiskey for the first time um, as part of our uh, whiskey club tasting with Malt Society Arabia uh, and I'll, I'll link them down in the description below. Check out their Instagram page if you want to be part of uh, that whiskey club. And uh, we, we did all like eight or nine different expressions and let me tell you something, there were a lot of wobbly legs by the end of that, by the end of that tasting, I promise you that. Good nose. Right off the bat, lots of red fruits, apple, licorice, raspberries. And then, and then the peat comes. And the peat is kind of subdued. Um, almost, it's quite doughy, if you ask me, like a baked bread burnt toast. That flavor profile. Hint of smoke. Apple pie. Did I say licorice? Licorice. It's a, it's a good nose. I don't think it's overly complex, um, but it's decent. Uh, Lagavulin rarely rarely put a step wrong, which is which is good. So you can you know um, you can be rest assured when you pick up a Lagavulin that you'll get something you'll get something worth your money. So yeah, good nose. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> in a good way. Big palate. Lots of spices. Lots and lots of spices. Oaky. Like um, cinnamon nutmeg. All spice. Five spice. Garam masala. <sighs> Drying mid palate. Ooh, that burnt toast. Burnt bread. Uh, profile comes through. Ooh, now tobacco in the finish. So yeah, big, big palate. I like that. I like that about whiskeys. Even though this is served at 46%, it still packs a punch. Uh, and I appreciate that. Uh, it's not as fruity as it was on the nose. Maybe hints of it. Um, but uh, generally quite a savory whiskey. I love the delivery. It's quite full bodied. A nice and velvety texture, which I also like a lot in my whiskeys. I feel like I'm at the distillery right now, seriously. <sighs> wow, yeah, took me back. 
so overall um, an accomplished uh, dream if you ask me um, proudly says nine years I appreciate that part of um, part of a decent uh, uh, collectible series I appreciate that as well fancy design also very cool check that out I hope you can see so I think this is a good honest whiskey that does its job um, and uh, I appreciate that I think there's nothing wrong with doing your job this is a job well done what if I should add water it's at 46% so yeah who cares I would drink it absolutely the way it is doesn't change the nose much Slightly fruitier with the water, less spices, um, not any better or worse, just slightly different. Uh, try it, try it with a few drops if you like, uh, but um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll prefer it straight. Um, maybe with a side of dark chocolate. So yeah, I'm the Malt Activist, thank you for joining me for yet another whiskey review. Uh, please don't forget to like share and subscribe because when you do that we get subs and everyone knows that I love subs peace